Hey everybody. I'm going to change the oil in my 2005 Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Mine's the limited edition, but it really doesn't matter. All the soft tails are very similar. Uh, this one, as you can see here, is black. It has a black oil tank. I put the Vance Hine short shots on it. This is the 95 cubic inch, which is what they did with the limited edition. Uh, the soft tail started with the uh, 88 twin, twin cam in, uh, I believe it was 2000. Uh, the twin cam started in 1999, but in 2000 they started putting it in the soft tail. So it's all very similar uh, when you go to change the oil. All the bikes are pretty much the same. Right up to uh, 2016, they did go through, through some iterations. So the 95 cubic inch has larger uh, cylinders. Uh, so uh, they basically took the 88 and, and bored it or put new cans on it and then uh, they went with the 96 I think it was an 07 and that was uh, basically they stroked the 88 and then when they stroked and bored the 88 you got the 103 anyway today I'm going to change the oil uh, it's a pretty easy process so we'll get started here's pretty much everything you're going to need right here Oil pan there, oil filter which I picked up from the Hardy dealer. Also got an O-ring, and then I'm using the Amsoil V-Twin 2050. It's full synthetic, but you can just use the regular 2050 oil if you want. 5 8 inch socket, torque wrench. You don't have to have a torque wrench, but you know if you want to torque it to specs. Uh, the oil drain plug is 14 to 21 foot-pounds if you want to be technical about it. Otherwise you can just snug it pretty tight and it'll do just fine. So I took the bike out and I warmed it up and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the oil dipstick off here so that it drains nicely and I'll clean that off in a minute. And then the old drain plug, as you can see, that comes down from the tank is underneath on the frame down there. I don't know if you can see it very good. Right up in here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the drain plug. Make sure you're lefty-loosey. You get up under there. And you give it a tug. There you go. The rest can be done by hand. And you gotta be quick so you don't spill too much on yourself. And we start draining the oil. Then you want to inspect the uh, plug. Uh, I don't see any metal on there. It's looking good, and I'm going to replace that O-ring right there with the new one every time I change the oil. I will clean that up and do that. I also check my threads, make sure everything's looking good there. I cleaned it off a little bit. I'm going to slip my new O-ring on here. And uh, this is magnetic, by the way, and that's why I check to see if there's excessive metal. You're going to get a little bit of wear on there, and you might have just a little metal on there, but you don't want too much. You might have an issue, and you want to have that checked out. So you'll notice I don't have a stand. It's much more convenient to have a stand when you're draining the oil but you can do it without one and then what I do is just for the last little drips I sit on the bike and stand it upright and let it finish dripping before I put the plug back on okay I just finished riding the bike and let it finish draining and I put the drain plug back in and torqued it now we're going to come around to this side And I'm going to take off that oil filter. 
All right, I'm going to take off this oil filter. I loosened it a little bit, and you can use whatever oil filter wrench you like to use. This is where it gets a little messy, and it actually is an advantage to have the bike tilted at this point. So I'm going to loosen this. I put a rag down under here, and I put my oil pan down in the bottom so that uh, if it does drip, I'm not going to make a big mess. And get that to where I can hand loosen it. And then the key is speed. And it's for making a big mess. All right, there we go. So I cleaned it up a little bit, but I like to uh, let this drip a little while and uh, just get as much of that old oil out there as I can. I want this dripped a bit, and I wanna make sure my surface is very clean. I'm gonna let that drip on there for just a little bit. We'll come back to it. So while that's dripping, what I do is I fill my filter about two-thirds to three-quarters, got a little too much in there, but it'll, it'll go down, with oil. And then, of course, I get just a little bit on the seal, not too much, not too little. Clean that up a little so that it seals properly. I got a little too much in there. I'll make a little bit of a mess. It's okay. The reason for that is that way, when that first of the oil is circulating through the crankcase, you're not leaving it without oil for too long. All right, I cleaned off my surfaces so they're good and clean after letting that drip a bit. And I put this rag down here. Now I'm going to spin on the new filter as fast as I can. A little bit will leak out, but we'll get it on there quick. Like so. Now I do a little something that's not really recommended. They say you shouldn't tighten it with your wrench, but it's really hard to get a good grip because there's not much room to get your hand in there. So I just give it a little snug, not too tight, so that I don't end up with an oil leak. Okay, got my filter on, cleaned it up a little bit. Now we're going to fill it with oil. Now the manual says to use no more than three and a half quarts. Made sure my drain plug was on. But I have never put more than three quarts in. If you put three and a half quarts in, you're going to overfill it. So, and you really don't even need a funnel. You can if you're afraid you'll make a mess. That you just pour it in. Let it drip for a bit and you do that for three quarts. Alright, I cleaned off my dipstick, made sure the rubber seal's looking good. And we can outright the bike. You want to check the oil with the bike right up. And it's supposed to be warm, but we can just check it now for posterity's sake. Right the bike. Pop it in. And without making a mess, you can see there. I think you can see there it's full. It'll go down a little bit once the oil gets down into the engine. And we're ready to ride.
All right, we checked the oil. I checked for leaks, got no leaks here, no leaks around by the filter. Oil's full, we're ready to fire this baby up.